Hi, this is Christine Blackledge Crow, and I want to say to you what I did when I got started from zero to one million in my healthcare businesses. Now, I think it's really important for you to think about you starting your business. What I'll show you in this video about what you need to do to at least make a start. One, start, one step is better than no step. Now, some of you may have been worrying and stressing, thinking I'm never gonna get my agency started, I'm never gonna get my care home started. But I want to tell you what I did to get started. And I want you to think about this as well. So, some tips here. The first thing I did was I needed to create space for my business. And I know a lot of you are going through this right now. So this is why I'm doing this video to help you. And some tips of how I did and what I did in order to get my agency started, for example. Now, some of you, you're working full time, you've got busy lifestyles going on, you've got, you've got work, when you finish work, you come home, you're exhausted, you're tired, you just want to relax. You've got the children you need to cook for, you've got friends, family, loved ones, you've got busyness going around you in every direction and I understand that you feel pulled. However, you're going to feel deflated if this is your dream if you don't start to make room for your business. So I did, that was the first thing I had to do. I had, you know, I've got four kids. I had three kids at the time as well. So think about making room for your business. Now, the first thing I did, I only had, I didn't have an extra office space, so I had a bedroom. So my bedroom became my office. I literally put a lock on the door and uh, thankfully I had my, my husband or you can have family members that can help look after your children for example but that was my office space I made room I didn't do try and do my business in the living room where everyone's running around it's busy you know it's a, a busy workstation house yeah so I did it up in my bedroom. I went up in my bedroom and I literally, I said to my husband, put a lock on the door. So he put a lock on the door and I locked it. And whilst I was there, I was focused, I was able to work on my business. Now, I'm not saying neglect your family members at all because that's not what I did. I made sure everyone was fed and watered. Then I went upstairs and then I locked myself in my bedroom I know I sound like a teenager, right? But that was the fact. I locked myself in the bedroom and then I was able to work on my business. And you know, it was really funny quite a lot of the times because the kids would be like, what's mom doing? Because they were young. Um, it was hard for them to understand what was going on. So sometimes I'd be working away on my business and the kids would be there trying to open the door. You know, and I could hear this, mom, mom, mom but I still kept focused. That's the second thing you have to do. You create your, your space of where you're gonna work from, where it's quiet, no distractions, no telephones, unless you're doing business, of course, and you have to keep focused. Now, that's what I did. The first thing I did, I created space for my business, and I used the time that I was able to work on my business, and I stuck to that time, unless there was a family emergency. You have to keep focus. So the second thing, like I said, keep focus. Have an action plan of when you're gonna work on your business. Talk with your family members. Talk with your, your loved ones, friends. Let them know that you are going to be working on your business at this time, so therefore you can't have any distractions because you want to help your family in the long run but you have to look at helping yourself first you have to make sure your cup is full first in order to help every single family member that you choose to help 
That's the, the second thing. So be focused in what you're doing. And that's what I did to get started. And I was actually literally locked in my bedroom, I would say for about three months. I've worked on my business. I did the policies, I did the procedures, I did the research, I started applying for things, and then I started to get contracts. Got registered uh, with the local government at the time, and I just kept doing that. I kept rinsing and repeating. My agency was earning a million dollars. You know, that was a long time ago. That was in 2001, for example. So that's what I did. But I also, I created a vision board. I wrote myself out a check for 1.4 million. I wrote it out. And I had that on my wall, in my bedroom. Some of you would have uh, received an email from me with the million pound note telling you to print it off. I got it from, uh, for example, Shuttlestock. You know, you've got to have something that you can see, that you're aiming for. Have a vision of where you see yourself in one year time or three years time. How much money do you see in the bank? When I started my agency, like I said, I had an accountant come and I said that I was going to earn 1.4 million. But I had a dream that I saw 4.4 million in my bank account. So you've got to keep focus. You've got to have a space where you can be creative to work on your business. That's the only way you're going to move forward in your business. Otherwise, it's going to keep pulling you back. Your work that you're currently doing is going to keep pulling you in, sucking you in, you know? And I know that it's not nice when you're doing so many hours and you possibly feel unappreciated like I did, you know? And I wanted to do something about my life. I was living on a council estate. I didn't enjoy living there. So, that was my driving force to get out. We were living in a council estate whereby there were robberies going on, there was fights going on, fires, all kinds of things, you know. So what is your driving force to getting you out and getting you started on your business? Like I said, you must make room. And I made room in my house, in my bedroom. That was my office space and back then the internet <laughs> it was a dial-up connection but we still was able to function you know even before internet came on we still was able to function but like i said to you think about if you want to get started do what i did and i'm giving you advice what i did to get started from zero to one million for example You've got to think and first do things step by step, have an action plan and focus and stick to the action plan as much as possible. And I know that we've all got busy lives, we've all got things going on at the moment, but we can control the things that we can control. So I created a space where I was able to focus on my business and I was able to get my agency up and running within three months. I was then able to buy my house because it was a council house. I was able to buy my house and then I was able to, to uh, get the other care homes, for example. Then I was able to buy another house. So I kept rinsing and repeating and it's about multiple streams of income. And I want you to think about making space for your business because it is important just like you would make space for if the family was coming to visit you in your home you would create a space for them because they're important and your business dream is important to you so please create space for your business i hope that you found this helpful please like and subscribe here to our youtube channel We've got other uh, videos as well, which you can watch. 
there's going to be plenty more tips that I'm going to be offering and teaching you. Give us a call. The information is here. And also, join us for our boot camps. We've also got free web classes. We've got free training for you as well. Because I want you to get into the mindset of starting your own business. We're nearly halfway into the year. So, you know, you don't want another year to pass. And then it comes to January and then you're doing a New Year's resolution and you're saying, I'm going to start my business. Get started now, today. Because there's plenty, plenty of work for you to create a business. So, but first, you have to create the environment. You've got to create the space. You've got to speak with your family members, let them know what you're doing and how important it is for the whole family, for example, or for yourself. You know, if this is important to you, then make space for it. Just like what I did, I created the space so I was able to think about what I needed to do in my business. And you won't regret it. So I just wanted to give you that simple step create space, focus, talk to your family members, remember how important this is to you and why you want to do this, state how much money you want to earn from running your own business and those will keep you focused and like I said look at writing yourself a check or printing off a, a check, you can do that on a uh, or various uh, stock photos, you know, there's lots of information out there that you can use as an incentive for you to get your business started. What is your time frame? We're now May, so June, July, August, say before, you know, before the, the summer holidays finish, for example. What is your focus? What space do you have in the house? to create a little mini office, a desk, laptop, and a chair. You sorted. So I hope that served you, and I look forward to hearing your comments. Do like us, subscribe, and listen out for the next video here. And I look forward to speaking with you soon. Take care, goodbye. I'm living the life, I woke up this morning. And I thank God for the day I know things ain't what they could be But I gotta smile